this is Stephanie Barnes and I'm back for episode 23 of my brick wall chat series. Um, I have an organization uh, business called IntelliKey which means realization of potential. Um, I started just over a year ago after evolving from um, Missing Puzzle Piece Consulting which was all about um, knowledge management and digital transformation and culture change and those kinds of things. So I still do all of that but now it's called IntelliKey and I do a bunch more stuff around um, innovation and creativity as well. So anyway, um, this is like I say episode 23 of my brick wall chats and this, um, um, I shouldn't be saying um, um, <laughs> this episode's on, uh, on honesty. Um, I don't know where that went um, in my head. So honesty, and this is a carry on from a presentation that I did just over a year ago for the Creative Mornings Berlin um, chapter here. Um, and on honesty, the theme of the month was honesty and, and I put together a talk on honesty and it's recorded. I'll put the link in the, the comments for this video in case you haven't seen it um, or weren't at the presentation here in, in Berlin. Um, and I really enjoyed that presentation that was really um, emotional and vulnerable and a whole bunch of other things. It was the first time that I had kind of talked about a lot of the, the things, especially to an audience that, that big. There was, I don't know, 60 or 70 people in, in the audience. Um, and yeah, it was a bit nerve wracking for me. If you've seen the video, you, you know, or if you go and watch the video, you'll see me, you know, being very nervous. Um, but like I say, it was a good video and if you, or at least I was really proud of it um, and um, have had really nice feedback, really good feedback from people. So, but what I want to say in this kind of part two, carrying on from that, if you had asked me at the time, if I was being honest with myself at, at that point, if, if my journey that far, if I was, you know, I'd come out from behind the mask that I, I talk about in that that video um, and wave around because I had a prop. <laughs> um, uh, I would have said yes, absolutely. This is you have now have the whole me. Um, and in the last year or so, I have discovered that mm, that might not have been totally true. Um, that perhaps there were parts of me that I was still um, not qu quite comfortable with and not revealing as much as as I could or should um, in order to be successful um, and part of that is um, that I was caught up in comparing and and um, uh, comparing myself to um, other people um, to my twin sister in particular and um, this competition and um, yeah and and a lot of things with with that um, that I've let go of in the last year realized and and hopefully let go of or at least become aware of um and it's changed how i approach things and and um created another level of of honesty another level of vulnerability um which has really been quite freeing something else i realized through through this last year was that um I do had really done a really good job on not showing my emotions. Um, I think because partly because I felt like showing my emotions didn't get me what I wanted. Um, and, and I've come to the, the spot now, um, in my life where I realize I really need to show my emotions that that's that showing my emotions and sharing those emotions and sharing my thoughts and feelings with people um, appropriately, you know, but but sharing them and and showing them is really important. Um, that it builds trust, it builds respect, it builds relationships. Um, and so it's been that's just been in the last couple of months that I've had that that realization that I need to to stop bearing things and pretending that it doesn't matter that I'm not hurt or that I'm not upset, um, you know, because I am sometimes uh, and I know a lot of times people don't mean it and you know may not understand what they've done um, or not done as the case may be um, and that doesn't mean that I should just say oh it's okay because honestly sometimes it's not okay and we need to talk about these things and be able to talk about these things with our friends and our families and our colleagues and and sort things out it builds a better relationship it it allows us to be successful and be who we are 
and that vulnerability um, is is difficult. Um, I've done a couple of pod, guest podcasts for people and talked about vulnerability and and coming out of the box and behind out from behind the mask. So this is really just kind of a a video to um, take that a step further and and some more personal thoughts um, as I've I've passed the one year mark on this this video that I did for Creative Mornings for Lynn. So yeah. Um, I'm trying to keep this short, so and I'm already past the five minute mark, so I'm going to wrap it up here. But, but if you have questions, or maybe I'll do another video. I I don't know and get into more details. I don't know if that's important. Um, you know, as much as I believe in vulnerability and honesty and things, um, I do want to have some control over what's out there, knowing that once it's out on the web, it has a life of its own. So, um, there's there's uh, protection of my privacy that's that's important as well um, in a situation like this. So I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, if you have questions um, about this or about the other video or anything in any of my videos, feel free to reach out in the comments under the videos or reach out you know, to me and uh, the contact details are at the end of the video and I'm always happy to talk and um, yeah, see where things go. Thanks a lot for listening. Again, this is Stephanie Barnes. It's um, Brickwall Chats, episode number uh, 23. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.